Hey there, GT Sports racers, making good progress on these mission challenges, and in this video we're going to be covering the eight missions of Stage 5. A lot of great racing for you this week, and at the end we've got a 30 minute, 15 lap endurance race. Alright, I said one and two. So, we're over 50% of the way through the mission challenges and all gold so far and nothing too taxing as yet stopping us getting gold medals. I've said it before but I think this is more about getting fast times to beat your friends than it is the gold medals. If anything the driving lesson threw up a little bit more of a challenge in some of them. But hey, they're good fun and keeping me well and truly occupied making videos about them. Stage 5, Mission 1, Group B Rally Car, Hairpin Turn. Getting a good time on this mission is all about immaculate turning technique and tweaking the car's technical settings. Use the joypad left right buttons to access the car's technical setup. And what I found best on this mission is to set the torque distribution to 50-50 in order to get even four wheel drive. Brake balance set to fully rear on five so that the back end slips out a bit more. And traction control level one so the car's computer launches you off the start line quickly with the minimum of wheel spin. And then top tip for this mission is turn the traction control setting off once you've got going and that'll allow you to do a big power slide around the hairpin turn. Stage 5 Mission 2, it's another one of these VGT super supercars which travel at light speed and corner like they're on rails. This car's got so much torque you can take all the initial corners one gear higher than the suggested gear. And this danging machine goes so fast it makes all the other cars look like they're out for a Sunday drive. Stage 5, Mission 3, Group B rally car around the Willow Springs Horse Thief Mile track. I feel a little bit guilty about unsportsmanly banging into cars on these missions, but I always remember that quote from Days of Thunder and it makes me feel a little bit better about it. Yeah, well the son of a bitch just slammed into me! No, he didn't slam into you, he didn't bump you, he didn't nudge you, he rubbed you. And rubbing son is racing.
Stage 5 Mission 4, Group B Rally Car around the third of the Northern Isle Festival, Technical Challenges. As much as I love the Peugeot RCZ Rally Car, I keep seeing that Audi Sport Quattro and thinking I gotta have myself a piece of that sweet action. So I bought one, and it handles just as well if not better. Same technique as Mission 1 in terms of the technical settings, and the key to this mission is to go around really super tight and super slow around the purple structure. Stage 5, Mission 5, Lexus LC500 around the Tokyo Expressway. This car to me on first glance looks like some sort of posh Japanese sports hire car, but it actually handles really well. It's got loads of torque, loads of grip, and the understeer on TCS Level 1 is nice and manageable, so you can drive it pretty hard and put in a pretty easy goal time. Stage 5, Mission 6, Mercedes AMG VGT. Looking back at all the other VGT cars, they've all been absolutely outrageous to drive, but this is probably closer to a Volkswagen Golf GTI. It looks exciting, but it just handles so incredibly average. I've got nothing more to say about the matter. I think those exhaust flashes are the most exciting thing about it.
let's speed this up. It's hard work watching it back. Stage 5 Mission 7, an N600 garage car event on the Mount Panorama Aussie Racing Circuit. Good day, mate. I started out practicing this track on a Lamborghini Huracan, but then I saw my favourite Porsche 911 GT3 RS zooming around and I thought, how do I get into that when that's rated N500? Went through a little bit of a confusing set of screens. Not really obvious on what you're supposed to do to get up into the N600 class, but some vague memories of previous Gran Turismo games where you up the max speed and lower the weight, and I got there in the end and tweaked it all the way up to the upper limit of the N600 to make it qualify. Anyway, back to the mission. Set it to TCS level 1 if you can handle some of the manageable oversteer, and if you can get past the grey Nissan GTR before the first corner on the uphill, then I reckon you're on for a good time. So much paintwork must have been scuffed over the years on these damn concrete walls. Finally, Stage 5 Mission 8, a garage car event on the Alsace Village course. I'm choosing the Ferrari 458 Italia for my garage because it's got excellent speed and handling and it behaves itself when you're starting to get a little bit tired and losing concentration and making small mistakes. 
The instruction on the video does say you've got to plan your pit stops carefully in order to win the race, but I had no problem getting into first and getting gold. And there's plenty of time for two pit stops, but if you turn the fuel map down and drive a bit more carefully, I'm pretty sure you can get away with one pit stop. I'm not going to subject you to all 15 laps, obviously, so I'll show you the first fast lap and then speed it up after that. And there we have it, into first place after five laps. And I'm gonna need a pit stop soon for fuel reasons, maybe a Ginster's pasty. Actually now, watch that back, I instinctively went for racing soft tires, but if you're going for the one pit approach, then you probably wanna be on the harder tires to make them last. So out of the pits and still in first place. Quick look back. Yep, nothing chasing us. Let's do this. And catching at the back of the races, the slow coaches on lap 12.
Yeah, like I said before, these tyres are starting to look a little bit short. We have chosen the race in soft tyres, so it's just as well I'm going in for a second pit stop. Although I'm not really noticing any real handling problems as yet. And there we have it. A uh, bit tired after that, but that was a drive through, some tips, goals, and fast times on the eight missions of stage five. Please give me a like if you found that useful or entertaining. And consider subscribing if you want to be notified about more of my new videos coming soon. Until next time, folks, happy racing!